One morning, Credence woke up and she felt like baking cookies. She really liked to eat cookies. And she said that morning, hoy quiero hornear galletas. So she walked out to the forest and she walked all the way to the home of Ratoncita Martina to invite her because she knew that Ratoncita Martina likes cookies as well and she would enjoy baking with her. So they both walked back to Credence's home and when they got there, they started taking all the ingredients out. They baked pretty much all day for a long time, but at the end of the baking session, they had a tiny bit of dough in a bowl that was enough for six cookies. And they said, let's make them. Let's not waste the dough. So as they were both preparing the dough to cut the cookies and they were adding chocolate chips, there was a little bit of flour in the air and that made both of them sneeze really hard. Koreans went, achoo! on the bowl, and Ratoncita Martina went, Achoo! on the bowl. Well, each of them had a little fit of sneezes, and they couldn't hold it. They were just sniffing, sneezing so much on the dough. But oh well, they couldn't help it. They made little cookies with chocolate chips. They put them in the oven, and they went outside to uh, breathe some fresh air while the cookies were ready. When the cookies were ready, Credence took them out of the oven and put them on the counter to cool down. And at that moment, Ratoncita Martina said, you know, I'm pretty tired. I think I have to go home. I'll come back tomorrow to visit you and enjoy some of those delicious cookies we made today. And she took off. When Credence went back to the kitchen, she looked at the cookies and suddenly they looked different, like they had moved around. But she said, that's impossible. Maybe I'm imagining things. It's time to sleep. So she went to bed. Oh, qué cansada estoy. Mañana voy a desayunar galletas. Well, she had a very restful night of sleep because she was very tired of baking. And when she woke up, she went to the kitchen and she was craving a chocolate chip cookie. She looked down. Oh, what happened here? All the cookies were in a different position. They had moved around. This is very strange. I wonder if Ratoncita Martina came earlier and she moved the cookies around. So she called out, Ratoncita Martina, ¿estás acá? Ratoncita Martina. But she couldn't hear anything. So she turned around to start making tea when suddenly she heard a little giggle. <laughs> She looked back, where did that come from? Then she heard more giggles. <laughs> it sounded like it was coming from the cookie tray. She was listening. Suddenly a little voice said, ¿Quién es Ratoncita Martina? And she got scared, what? Who's talking? She looked down and the chocolate chip cookies that she had baked at the end of the day with Ratoncita Martina were opening their eyes from a sleepy night. Credence couldn't believe it. Eyes on cookies. And then one of them had a big yawn. Oh, a mouth. And all the cookies, six of them, open their eyes really big and wide and they're open their mouths. Hi, Credence. She couldn't believe it. The chocolate chip cookies were talking to her and looking at her. What? Galletitas con ojos y con bocas? No lo puedo creer. Pero, ¿cómo es posible? And the cookies just giggled. They didn't know. They just said, we don't know. We just woke up like this early this morning. So here we are. Well, Credence ran to her library and she started looking for her magical recipe book. She found it. There was one specific book that was all about magical cooking and it had a big section on baking. Well, she started looking through the glossary, which is that list that tells you the different topics. And she found magical sneezing while baking. Go figure. She went to the page Oh, no lo puedo creer. I've made magical cookies. Well, it happens that when you're cooking, specifically when you're baking cookies and you sneeze on the dough, 
if you're a magical person, like Credence is, as you know, well, your cookies are going to be magical. And so she created talking cookies with eyes. Oh, dear God. Now I have six cookies at home that can talk and see everything. So she went back to the kitchen and she said, hi, everyone. My name is Credence. And they said, we know you made us. And they started laughing and giggling. They seem to be very happy and funny cookies. Well, I was going to eat you guys for breakfast, but seeing that you're alive, I cannot eat you now. So what would you all like to eat? And the cookies were really hungry and they said, milk. We want to drink milk. So imagine she had to get a little cup with milk and a little dropper because they couldn't grab the cup and drink it, right? They didn't have arms or legs or anything, just eyes and mouth. So she would grab a few drops of milk and pour it in their mouth, each of them, all six of them, she was feeding them. And they were also very hungry cookies. They were eating all day. She spent most of the day giving them milk. Well, later that day, she heard the knock on the door. And it was Ratoncita Martina. And she came in, hi, Credence, I'm here for cookies. Well, they had plenty of cookies from the first few batches they had baked. And she gave her one and a little bit of milk. And she said, come to the kitchen. Quiero mostrarte algo muy interesante. When they were walking to the kitchen, Ratoncita Martina started hearing giggles and little voices and a lot of chatter. And she looked at Credence like, oh, you have visitors. And she said, well, kind of. I guess they live with me right now. They went inside. And Ratoncita Martina couldn't believe it. Una bandeja con galletitas de chocolate que hablan? How did this happen? I don't get it. Well, Credence took her back to the library and showed her the book. It happens that you and I created magical cookies. So now I have six cookies living in my house. Well, they couldn't stop and they started laughing. They thought it was hilarious. Now Credence had six cookies she had to take her off and give them milk every day. Well, the day was a very long day full of bowls of milk and milk droppers, but eventually it was nighttime. Ratoncita Martina had got back home and Credence was in the kitchen with her cookies and she looked down at them and said, Bueno, galletitas, es hora de ir a la cama. Hay que dormir. How would you like, Sky? How would you uh, guys like to sleep? Can I put you, I don't know, in a bed, in the oven, in a cookie jar? And they all laughed. Well, we can stay here on the cook in the baking tray, but we are a little bit cold. So she grabbed a tea towel, the prettiest tea towel she had in the drawer, and she covered them and tucked them in very carefully. And they were all in a row, six of them, one next to the other, very covered and snug. They went to bed. Well, Credence had a, a restless night thinking about the cookies that now she had at home, but she ended um, falling asleep and having a really good night of sleep. La siguiente mañana se despertó muy temprano. Oh, hmm. She went to the kitchen to look for the cookies and check on them. ¿Dónde están las galletitas? Pero yo las arropé anoche para dormir. Con este tea towel, ¿qué pasó? The cookies were gone. The tea towel was on the baking tray, but she couldn't find the cookies anywhere. So she was very quiet and listening, closed her eyes. She heard noises. They were coming from the library. What? She ran to her library, opened the door. Guess what? The little cookies were running all around. They were jumping, getting on the books. They were trying to read stories and cuentos. They had legs. They had grown legs overnight. Each cookie had two little patitas, two little piernitas, and they were running around with them. Credence couldn't believe it. She said, ah, <clears throat> good morning, everyone. And all the cookies stopped right there and looked at her giggling. Good morning, Credence. We have legs. They were so happy. Oh my God, they were so energized because they have legs. 
they had milk that morning, but now that they had legs and they could stand over a bowl, they were drinking it like a cat. They had each a big bowl of milk because I guess growing legs and running around gets them really hungry and tired. But after they finished their bowl of milk, they looked at Credence and they said, can you take us somewhere to play, please? So she grabbed a little Ziploc baggie she had and tried to put them in there. And they were like, no, we don't want to go in a Ziploc bag. We can't breathe. She found a little cookie jar and she took off the top. They all jumped in the cookie jar, put it under her arm, and they traveled together to the closest park. Oh my God, those little running cookies, they had a blast. They were jumping, trying to climb things, but how? They didn't have arms. Well, they did what they could and they had a beautiful day at the park. When they got back home, they went to bed again. She covered them again with a little tea towel after one big bowl of milk. They all slept. She could hear the little cookies uh, dreaming and snoring and they, me, 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 me. The next morning when she woke up, she was so afraid what she was gonna find. She went to look for the little cookies. And again, the baking tray was empty. The tea towel was there. She couldn't see the cookies anywhere. And she listened again very carefully. She closed her eyes. <gasps> They're in the living room? She ran to her living room. And sure enough, all the cookies were all around, the six of them jumping on the couch, climbing on it, and sliding down on the cushions. But now they had arms. They had grown arms overnight. Can you believe that? Now six little cookies with two eyes, two arms, two legs, and one mouth were living in her house. And oh boy, did they play. Les encantaba jugar todo el tiempo. Saltaban, corrían, subían, bajaban, se colgaban de cosas porque ahora tenían brazos. And now that they had arms and hands, they would grab things and wave them around and throw them around and play catch. She said, oh boy, I need to get these cookies out of here. They have to burn energy. What am I going to do with them? So she gave them each a bowl of milk. And at that point, they could grab the bowl and get They drank their milk so quick. She couldn't have enough time to get ready. They all jumped in the cookie jar and they were by the door ready, yelling at her, Credence, 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 let's go to the park, Credence, let's go play. Well, she said, well, cookies, now you're grown cookies. You have your legs and your arms. You're going to walk. I'm not going to carry you. Oh, but we like it when you carry us because it's so nice and we can see everything. Mm -mm, no little cookies. Vamos a caminar al parque. Todas van a caminar el día de hoy. So they left home and they decided that on their way to their park, they were going to stop by Ratoncita Martina's house and they were going to invite her to the park as well. They knocked on her door. Ratoncita Martina, ¿estás en casa? The cookies were all so excited to see her. Ratoncita, Ratoncita, let's go to the park. Vamos a jugar. Ratoncita Martina couldn't believe it. They have arms and they have legs, Credence. What are you going to do? Well, the only thing I can do is buy a lot of milk and plant every day and out into the park. And that is how Credence ended up living with six little chocolate chip cookies in her house. I hope you enjoyed it, Jack and Martina. Love you.